What's up everybody, Danny's here and we are back at it again with another video. But before we get into it, make sure to check out all the links in the description below. And now so far we've seen PlayStation saying that it's not compatible with the Nintendo Switch because it doesn't have the detachable Joy-Con controllers like what we've seen before, like the Nintendo Switch. Like, is Sony copying Nintendo? Because they might do console wars with that, probably. So for sure, PlayStation announced the um, PlayStation Portal. Yeah, I think it's a PlayStation Portal. And they revealed its answer to the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch, of course. Because FYI, I bet the PlayStation Portal is just like the Wii U and the Switch. I'm sorry about that. But now we've seen, now Nintendo seeing Sony this news on Twitter. Because all as I can tell, Nintendo might compare the Switch and the PlayStation Portal and the Wii U to see how, like, how compatible it, how, com how compared it is to see which has, like, the bigger screen. Because the Wii U and the PlayStation Portal are just like the Nintendo Switch Lite. But let's just test out the Switch. The Switch is, like, becoming, an, like, like, I'm often knowing why they just detach Joy-Cons. Like, this is not a Switch Lite, but this is an OG Switch. Because I know Sony's having this for years now. They did a PlayStation Portable, like, many years ago, and now they did this. PlayStation Portal without a detachable controller. Now, the Switch Lite does not have a actual um, detachable controller that they do with the Switch. But all as I can tell, one day, one thing about Sony is that they wanted to just do, like, they just want to experience handheld consoles with the Nintendo Switch. Now, Nintendo released a lot of handhelds since 1989, the Game Boy. And ever since, they worked on many system, game systems. They worked on many handhelds. And now, I'm not sure why Xbox is not doing any handheld consoles. Because to compare the actual games, like the 3DS though, like the Xbox Series Z or the Xbox Series X Refresher, I don't know about that now. Because we're getting to the new year on like January now. Or actually not now, but um, honestly... I feel like something may go on with Sony because they just want to copy Nintendo. They're like, oh, you know what? Sony just want to copy Nintendo nowadays. And that's just upsetting. That's just the awful console wars that they want to start with. Now, let's start with the Nintendo Switch 2. It may be releasing in the New Year's. But now, PlayStation Portal, I'm not sure when it'll be releasing. Hopefully this year or next year. Because any day now. Sony might be able, the Switch 2 might be able to come out first, and then the PlayStation, and then the PlayStation Portal, because PlayStation has, like, released, like, only two, um, PlayStation handheld consoles, the Portable and the Portal, well, not the game Portal 2, because what on earth are you thinking? Like, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Honestly, though, I think we're getting into the interactive, like, like, to be honest with you guys, like, not ever since Nintendo doesn't want PlayStation to copy Nintendo, they just don't want to do it. They just want to reveal its answer to the Wii U and the Switch. Like, how could they would just want to compare the gameplay and then review it to see if it's worth it or not, though. That's the actual point of comparing handhelds. Now, the PlayStation Portal is still $200, and the Switch Lite is $200, as you can tell. And now, as much as I know, Nintendo is working on the Nintendo Switch 2, but they also have other games that you can still play. They have, like, compatible games like Minecraft, uh, Mario Maker 2, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Fortnite, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and there's other games you can play on the PlayStation Portal, like God of War, um, Spider-Man 2, and also, like, a lot of games that you can play that, that are just compatible with the PlayStation Portal. And now, I think they're just gonna do it. They're just gonna release it before the Switch 2. That, that's just... I'm not sure why it's not compatible with the Nintendo Switch. 
If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. And maybe if they see this video and they see how many people want to know if it's compatible to the Nintendo Switch, they will review it on a video. So make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you all next time.